gab them and be ready to laugh. This next uh, tale is based on a fairy tale. Has anyone here ever heard Hansel and Gretel? Okay, then you're gonna get the gist of this. Uh, but it takes a little bit of a turn, and you really get to see the range of these brilliant actors. I have the pleasure of working with Warren McCormick and Chris Leedholm. And if you like what they do, I would encourage you to join them Monday night, 6.30, right here for Improv. Woo! There's some improvers in the back as well. It's a fabulous Woo! time for you to test out your range, try different accents, try different movements, and see if you can be as good as these two. So feel free to hoot and holler with this one and uh, enjoy. This is called Open to Interpretation. But underneath it, the implications are... They're mind-boggling. They're stupefying. And definitely... Open, open to interpretation. interpretation. <laughs> oh, Hansel, isn't it a lovely day? It sure is, Gretel. Oh, except for the fact that our mother's dead and our father remarried a very wicked woman who says <laughs> we're so fat, we gotta go for a walk in the woods. Other than that, it's a perfect day. <laughs> Don't worry, Hansel. I have these breadcrumbs, and I've scattered them along the path so that we may find our way home. Gretel, you truly are a wonderful sister. Thank you. Unfortunately, you're not a very smart sister. Look, the birds have eaten all of your bread. Oh, crap. But look, there's a house made of candy. Let's eat it. Before dinner? Um, we're the victims of the left. We can do as we wish. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Laffy too. <laughs> oh, Hansel! There's a wicked witch! Oh my gosh! She's tying you up! She's putting you in a cage to fatten you up! And she's nearly blind! Gretel, never fear! I have an idea. When she comes to feel my finger, I shall stick this chicken bone through the cage. And then, when she thinks I'm bad enough to throw him in the oven, we'll do something dastardly. <gasps> Oh, 
Okay, come, come off it. She's trying to cook me. If you could just shove her into the oven or something, cook us now, quickly. Even now, she bendeth over to check in her cauldron. Gretel, do not ask for whom the cauldron boils. It boils for me. Do the deed. Do the deed. Wings of an angel over these 
prison bars, I would fly! Hello, it's you. Well, hello. It's so nice to shove you back where you belong. You beautiful gal. I've got a crow. Interpretation. And that's why we call it theater. 